yes. I'm front foot, man. Why? Was it because of your legs? Was it because of your legs? It's just that went into the rust stop and it deep and it just twisted. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Distance 1,200 yard. Battery 99%. guys how's it going how is everybody doing it's one day after the wheel life rally and I'll tell you what if you missed it well you missed it it is what it is hopefully you'll be able to make it next time anyway I was late as usual this is the third wheel life rally I believe uh, this is the first uh, and I've been late the two times that, that I went, I was late twice. Um, it's funny because the, the um, event I wanted to participate in, which is the flat track, um, I always end up being late for that one. So it is what it is. Next time, you know, <laughs> or next opportunity with some other race, I don't know. Either way, it was a lot of fun, guys. Uh, competition is always great because what it does is it hones in your skills. It makes you better. And, um, you know, it also demonstrates to you whether or not what you think you know, you really know. You know what I mean? It's a good thing because when you're riding by yourself, you're thinking you're good at something, but you may be good at it, but you may be good at it for you, for your standards, for your benchmark. You know what I mean? But put that same benchmark, put that same set of skills against other people who also train. And that's where butterflies start to kick in. Because when I first got there, it was for fun. It's fun. I'm not really trying to compete. It's not for money. Um, it's not for a wheel or anything like that. So it's fun, I'm not really, but but it's funny because when I got there, butterflies started getting into my stomach because I am a competitive guy, that's just my nature. If I'm gonna participate participate in something, oh my gosh, um, if I'm gonna participate in something, um, I'm gonna give it my best, I'm gonna, well, I would say if I have good preparation, I'm going to give it my best, but if it's out of the blue, then I'm still gonna attempt to give it my best and um, at that point, you know, you just go and you do great, you do great. You don't do great, you don't do great. It is what it is. It's fun. But even during the fun, even during having fun, you're thinking about, man, am I going to be able to win? Am I going to be able to use the skills that I pretty much used all this time to demonstrate my capability, even if it's for fun, you know? And uh, that's what I noticed yesterday. Um, just like the other time, the, the last time I went, I had my 84 volt MSX, mostly because, you know, my 84 volt MSX, it was uh, lacking in torque, and I didn't really know about the off-roading part, so I brought it mainly because I thought it was going to be a flat track, and I don't mind flat tracks, um, and I knew that the 84 volt would be able to handle itself on the flat track, for sure. Um, but when I got there, I quickly realized um, that, let me hold this because it's just too dark. What I quickly realized is that, um, you know, there are more advanced riders out there. And not only that, they had pads and everything. I didn't have pads at the time. I hated riding with pads back then because I'm mostly a street rider and I felt I had all the acceleration I could get out of a wheel using my method of riding. And I still do. As a matter of fact, I still don't use the pads for acceleration while riding on the road. But when you're riding on off-roading territory, it's important, man. And a lot of you know this, but it's important to have pads because I could use my method as much as I want. Sometimes I have to go against my method in order to gain that maximum acceleration that I'm expecting. And that's what I noticed. 
and I was very, very impressed with a lot of the riders out there. But mostly I was also impressed with my, um, how I did. Because um, when I first went, I didn't do so well um, on the off-roading. I crashed like maybe three times. Um, yeah, I crashed three times. Yeah, I'm getting some pizza because I forgot to bring my lunch again. <sighs> always rushing, man. Yeah, so a lot of guys were there and they had pads and I figure, you know, wow, uh, these guys are prepared. That's what, that's how I thought about it. These guys are prepared. Holy smokes. Anyway, the first time I crashed, um, on the sandy part and the main reason looking back is because I had no pads. When I had pads this time, I think I, I don't know what you call it, like fishtail or something, like swerve. I swerved so many times in the dirt and the sand that I didn't fall. Like I literally held on. As long as it could push and give um, the wheel more power, I was able to hold on and still keep going. But back then I would have just fallen just like that. Um, Either way, it was fun, man. It was a lot of fun. I got to experience the S18 once again. This was great. Um, I might ask that guy for his S18 to test it out. I don't know, but the S18 was great. Um, no power, no torque, but it was a fun ride. Um, I had him ride the V11. Was it the V11? No, it was the V12. Black Cobra brought the V12 from someone else and... Um, that V12 is very interesting. I mean, I was quickly able to max it out, but besides that, it had a lot of torque. Um, I believe EVX did make a video on this about the um, V11, V12, and I'm sorry, the V12 versus the S18. And he did mention that the motor of the S18 was lacking, and I felt that. But in motion has always had good motors anyway, to be honest. They just never max them out. You never like they have a philosophy of, of not maxing out their wheels to a point to enter that, you know, performance territory. I don't know why, but they're literally the other side of King Song. You know what I mean? They have all the safety technology, all the safety software, every check in place for a performance wheel. They just won't do it. You know what I mean? It's crazy. But anyway, um, yeah, it's great. It was great. I had to reduce a lot of pressure. Um, because what they do is you go in and then you do a little loop around with the owner so that you can at least grasp what to expect. And then when you do that loop, then you go for the race. What I would have liked was for them to have us do a race, not a race, but like a, a dry run. Yeah, I would have liked a dry run because that wasn't a dry run. I would, I would have liked an actual dry run to test it out. Then you feel... Because when you're just following the, the go-kart guy, um, the off-roading truck, the four-wheeler, you're just, you're safe. You're not really doing anything. But if you're doing a dry run, you're getting, you're, you're, you're going to experience like the parts where you don't want to speed up or you don't want to turn too much or you don't want to slow down too, I, I don't know, it's just crazy. But it was fun, man. It was fun. It was fun. I just wish I'd made it sooner so I could do my favorite part, which is the flat track. <clears throat> but um, shout out to Black Cobra, man, for setting this up. I love competitions. I just got to be early, man. But anyway, I, I wanted to ride today, but everything was going wrong today. And, and this is another thing about riding, guys. You got to kind of, you know, understand. And not every time is a good time to ride, okay? And I'm not talking about temperature-wise or weather-wise. I'm talking about, like, how you feel. So today, I got up late. I forgot my lunch. I can't log into my computer at work. I'm tired because I didn't sleep much, even though I had plenty of time to go to speed, go to bed earlier. I don't know why, I, why I did that. You know, like you could sense things are going wrong. Things are going wrong. So what do you do? You jump in a wheel. Oh, and another thing is um, the weather is great. It looks great. You know what I'm saying? Weather looks great. If you can capture that blue sky sort of. Um, but it was, it's windy today. It's very windy today. And I hate, I hate riding in the wind although I don't mind riding in the wind with a powerful wheel like when I had the Sherman um, I don't mind when I had the high-speed MSP I don't mind even the high-speed I'm sorry the MSP torque I don't mind because it has a lot of torque but it, ha it doesn't have a lot of speed so I don't mind riding in the wind with powerful wheels and I don't mind riding in the wind in the wind if I don't have anywhere to go 
But here I have somewhere to go. I have to go get this pizza and then I have to eat it and I have to go back to work. I don't wanna be in this rushing frame of mind to jump on the wheel and do something that I'm gonna regret. I might forget, I might do something stupid like, I don't know, foot placement or I don't know, my mind's just not right. So at this, these are times you gotta think like, dude, everything is like planning, like telling me, hey, like forecasting, you know, foreshadowing, don't do this, don't do this, don't do this. And then you jump in a wheel and then you do what you're not comfortable with doing and then you go down or you slip up, you might not even go down, you just slip up, you know? So I decided not to ride. The wheel's in the back, still dirty from um, uh, from the other day. But but this is just a, a quick advice, you know? Quick advice that I, I love riding, man, and, and I ride as much as I possibly can. In fact, in the past, before you know my, my baby came, I used to ride as at night, it didn't matter, rain, shine, didn't matter, but now, I'm a little reserved. I still write a lot, but I'm still reserved. I'm still thinking about what I'm doing. And um, because I know how I am, I'm gonna go crazy ride and then I'm gonna mess up and I'm gonna be like, man, why did I do that? Didn't I see the signs? So these are things you wanna keep in mind. Writing is not just about the experience. Writing is also about being able to anticipate, being able to make correct decisions. You know what I mean? Before you get on the wheel also, not just after you get on the wheel. So this is, I feel, I feel great right now. I drove. And I feel great. I, I, I am safe. Now I can ride for another day without worrying about, oh, you know, whatever. So um, it sucks though. Like deep in my heart, I feel like, damn it, I need to ride. Like this is the time to ride because that's the flip side of it. Like this is the time to ride because it's like you're feeling all this negative stuff. This is when I usually ride is when I feel all this negativity or all this, I wouldn't say negativity, but things that are just going wrong. I usually fix it with riding. You know, um, just to clear the mind, to clear the mind, you know what I mean? But today just didn't feel like it because the wind gusts, it's like 15 miles per hour wind gusts and 15 miles per hour wind gust in a city is fine because you have the, the buildings to break down the speed. But here, this is 15 miles an hour wind gust on a straight with nothing, just like highway. It's like a freeway, you know what I mean? And I love freeways, but I could just see myself going through traffic real slow trying to fight the wind you know what I mean I could I could just see that so I decided not to do it not to do it call it a day ride later relax clear your mind feel your tummy go back to work finish work finish everything and then go go ride you know what I mean so that's just a thought guys it's just a thought riding is not always about the experience on the wheel it's also about you know preparation and preparation includes your state of mind you know what I mean so have the true state of mind and then you'll have this, the true state of grind. <laughs> I don't know, I'm making stuff up. But guys, it was a pleasure chatting with you guys. If you have any great comments in terms of how, you know, like things you guys go through, you know, during riding or before riding or after riding, you know, state of mind stuff, just put that in the chat. It helps out, guys. It's, it's really a state of mind, you know? Um, so yeah, I just wanted to mention that. But the Re Wheel Life Rally was great. I hope uh, Mr. Cobra and Sensei Vegan uh, post something soon because like yesterday I all my cameras were dead everything was dead I'm like holy smokes I, I thought I connected it to this but it, it wasn't connected I brought two cameras just in case one went dead they were both dead I'm like what the? I try to connect the thing to the chin like like I saw Chooch did and nothing worked I'm like what you know what I'm just gonna ride and have fun and I did so guys let me go eat that pizza Chill with you guys later. Peace out.